is uh, what we call arterial or primary uh, national road. Ang objective natin tungkol dyan sa national arterial roads na yan, excuse me, is that by 2014, lahat yung kalyang yan e eh, dapat paved na. Wala na dapat tayong gravel roads dyan. And aside from that, the intention is to upgrade all of our national roads. Upgrade as to quality and safety. Let's not forget that safety component. No? Now, tungkol naman sa secondary national roads, we want to be able to achieve 100% by 2016. In other words, all of the 31,000 kilometers you know, of our national road network should already be paved by 2016, meaning dapat upgraded as to quality and safety. Now, kasama din dyan is the upgrading and improvement of all the bridges on these 31,000 kilometers of national roads. No? That means we should convert all of the dilapidated and temporary bridges on these national roads to permanent by 2016. So that's a very clear objective target that the department has put across. No? So our budgets moving forward will be driven by these uh, physical targets until 2016. Now, in terms of what we refer to as flood control or water management, we have identified 56 major rivers nationwide, and here it becomes imperative that we do a convergence program with other agencies of government, namely the Department of Agriculture, the National Irrigation Administration, DNR, and DILG. Bakit? Kasi kung kami lang ang magtatrabaho ng flood control downstream at wala namang ginagawang programa upstream, et masisira lang yung ginagawa namin downstream. Meaning, we want watershed management upstream, we want reforestation upstream, if possible, we want water impounding upstream so that you reduce the run of water that comes downstream. No? Now, water impounding is very good for agriculture, no? Water impounding can also be good for domestic use and as well as hydropower. Now, these are major concerns no? because if we can only impound all of that excess run of water, then we can increase irrigated areas. We can then utilize uh, surface water instead of groundwater for domestic use. I keep saying, having come from the water sector, hindi na sustainable yung deep well nan deep well itong mga water districts na ito. No? They have to start looking at water supply na ground, hindi groundwater, kundi surface water, which means impounding all of this water upstream. Now, the other thing is, we also want to make sure that the river systems are kept healthy. No? And that's why one of our major programs to prove that point is to work on Laguna Lake. No? So we are uh, uh, pushing for the road dike on Laguna Lake to address three major issues. No? First, by creating a road dike, you reduce the flooding in the low-lying municipalities around the lake. Second, you're able to improve the water quality of Laguna Lake and therefore we will make sure that Laguna Lake becomes a good source for surface water for municipalities around the lake. And we have proven that point when I was president of Mainilad, we put a water treatment plant on Laguna Lake to provide potable water to Muntinlupa and the area around Las Piñas, including Ayala, Alabang. Their water quality is much better now than where they used to get water, which is groundwater, which is not sustainable because saline intrusion has started to creep into these water aquifers. No? Now, the third is we want the road dike to have an access to the Lucena and Laguna area. Right now, South Luzon Expressway and the existing uh, Maharlika or the 
MacArthur Highway is the only access. And alam nyo naman, yung mga Tiga Laguna, talagang umiiyak na sa haba ng biyahe nila papuntang Metropolis. No? So, uh, maybe I'll, I'll stop there and just give uh, the opportunity for media to ask questions on particular topics. But uh, I just wanted to share that because that's how we are formulating our budget moving forward. National roads, no? convergence program with uh, the different agencies. And this includes, by the way, convergence with DOT, Department of Tourism. In other words, with the master plan now completed by DOT, they have identified designated priority tourism destinations. We will provide and support the access to these uh, destinations. Uh, with the Department of Transport and Communication, we have asked them to please identify where you will build the airports and raw reports so that we can provide the access to these airports and raw reports. Kasi nung nakaraan, natapos na yung airport, wala pang access na kalye. No? Natapos na yung raw report, napakasama naman noong kalye papuntang raw report. That should not happen anymore. No? That, that's why the convergence program becomes very important with the other line agencies as far as infrastructure development is concerned. No? So, uh, as I said, uh, maybe I'll stop at that and open the floor for any questions.